James had not been out to push coaches or freight cars in the yard for several days. He was feeling miserable. Oh dear, he thought, I wonder how long I shall have to stay in the shed. Will anyone see my red coat again? Why did I go so fast that I made a hole in one of my coaches that had to be mended with, of all things, a passenger's bootlace? At last, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. I know you are sorry, James, he said, and I know too that you want to be a useful engine. People are laughing at my railway, and I do not like that at all. I will try hard to do my best, said James. That's a good engine. There's nothing like determination. I want you to pull some freight cars for me. James was delighted and puffed away. Here is your freight train, James, said Thomas. Have you got some boot laces ready? And he ran off laughing. Oh, oh, said the freight cars. We want a proper engine, not a red monster. James took no notice and started as soon as the conductor was ready. Come along, come along, he puffed. We won't, we won't, screamed the freight cars. But James didn't care, and he pulled the screeching cars sternly out of the station. The cars tried hard to make him give up, but he still kept on. Sometimes their brakes would slip on, and sometimes their axles would run hot, and each time the trouble had to be put right. And each time, James would start again, determined not to let them beat him. Give up, give up, you can't pull us, you can't, you can't call the cars. 